Welcome. Does that mean hello? Uh, <laughs> we're going to get a guy with cue cards one day. Did we already blow it? Yeah. They told us we had three hours to talk. So we're going to talk for all three hours. Hello. Welcome to the next edition of the Birdland Music Hour. Um, it's the end of the summer and the music is starting to pick up again and we've got some good stuff out and uh, I'll start. I'm Barry and I've got some new music this week from our friends RCA Records, home of The Nipper. The Nipper. Little dog. Ray, Ray LaMontagne uh, and the Pariah Dogs. This is his first release with a band. And it's called God Willing and the Creek Don't Rise, a uh, New Hampshire native. This is his first uh, record with a uh, complete band. It's his folky, acoustic, soulful sound. He's got this gritty uh, Van Morrison on uh, sandpaper voice. Uh, I think you'll like this. Check him out, Ray LaMontagne. Uh, very good record. Next. On Alligator Records, from our friends at Alligator, oh, Charlie Musselwhite, The Well, uh, they told me to project. Uh, this is his uh, thousandth record? Almost. Uh, this is his first record. I think Charlie is 200 years old now. I was actually buying his stuff in college. And he's still got the blues. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is his first record where all the tunes are uh, self-penned. His harmonica is as sharp as ever. His lyrics are great, great back and band. Uh, Charlie Musselwhite, he's still got the blues after 100 million years. Sounds great, check them out. It's called The Well. And last, but certainly not least, the fourth record from uh, Mofro. Mofro, now known as J.J. Gray and Mofro, Georgia Warehouse. It's a soulful, Stax, Memphis, greasy, uh, Southern Rock Sound, uh, J.J. Gray and Mofro, cool record, check them out. Uh, they were at the Jewish Mother this summer and I heard it was a killer show. Uh, this one is going to put them on the map finally, I think, after a couple tries. Special guest uh, Derek Trucks on guitar, uh, J.J. Gray and Mofro, like this record. Alright, ladies. Alright, we're going to make this quick. Our book of the week, Todd Rundgren's A Dream Goes On Forever, Volume 2, The Utopia Years. Nobody cares about Todd Rundgren anymore. I'm sorry. But we're close enough to Philly where he's from. This is an excellent book. covers all the stuff he produced, all the stuff he played on, and, of course, the band Utopia when he was with them and the solo stuff oh, that Todd during Rundgren. those years. Yeah, that Todd Rundgren. Okay. You saw him down at the I did, Boathouse. At the Boathouse. I did. It was really great. Good. The book is really good. What rec what co record company put it out? <laughs> it's a you can read. That's right. All right. I'm going back in time. After 30 years, this group is still together. 30 years is yesterday for you. Oh, I know. The, uh, what got me hooked on in the beginning, they're a country rock band, was they had a lyric in a song that said Paul McCartney had a group before he had wings, which I thought was kind of cute. That was 30 years ago. They got the original band back together. Who's the band? The band is... McGuffey Lane, and this is their 10th album, courtesy of E1 Entertainment. Good, good country rock stuff. Not great, but good. Kind of Eagles Poco? Kind of Eagles Poco, yeah. Stuff egos. egos. <laughs> well, that's what I said. Egos, you know, uh, whatever, Glenn Fry, he's one of the Egos. All right. He is one of the Egos, there's two Egos. I uh, went to see Hart the other week, so their new album, uh, what, what's it called? <laughs> Red Velvet Car on Legacy Records. Tom from the Narrow just walked in. You want to get on the video? Too late. <laughs> the Heart album is good. It's not as rocking as the live concert. They played four songs, I think, off of this at the concert. They did an excellent job. I think live they sound better than they do on the CD. You just went to see what they look like. Oh, and they still look good. Okay. Of course I'm getting old. That's all you care. Here's one that uh, Tom from the Narrow. <laughs> this is the one he's looking for. It's Mickey Dolan's does Carol King. Is he monkeying around still? <laughs> Let me tell you, this is decent. This You're is gonna decent, have to tell me. This is a decent album, and for two reasons. One, well, maybe three reasons. You can need one, more reasons than that. <laughs> well, you're gonna need more than three. 
I didn't know that Mickey's been making albums over the years. Every 10 years, he puts one out. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Ah, you ought to read the liner notes. Well, anyways, 14 timeless songs, all of them by Carol King. is something he wanted well, to do his whole life. I like Carol King. He's got uh, a medley with... A legendary Les Carol King. He's actually got a medley with Bill Medley on this, which is kind of neat. You know, uh, all, the, all the Carol King songs are really well done. But what really sells this for me, Jeffrey Foskett is the producer. And let me tell you, if you like something that sounds a little bit like the Beach Boys, something good harmonies, good music sounds, that's one to get. Now we're going to do a little quiz. They Brian say, Wilson's band director. We're off Jeffrey to the next Foskett. CD already. All right, boss? Are you monkeying around? You know, when a joke doesn't work, you keep using it until hopefully people will say it's over. All right. We have three, three hours I'm, to fill up. <laughs> two hours. Let me give you a quiz, see how good you are. If I said this guy played for the Beatles on the Beatles record, if this guy played on Ringo's first solo album, if this guy played on John Lennon's Imagine album, and if this guy played on George Harrison's All Things Must Pass, who must it be? Klaus Foreman. Klaus Foreman. Last week, and this is because we have good clientele, the phones are uh, over in the corner. We never answer the phone when we're doing this. <laughs> Tom's a good guy. Go, go to the Narrows, see the movies he's showing. Still our gang after 30 years. But anyways, Klaus Vorman has a CD out. One of our customers turned us on to this. It's an import. It came out late last year. It was only released overseas. Over, only released overseas. See who's on this CD? Ringo Starr, Paul McCartney, Joe Walsh, Youssef, remember him? Cat Stevens, Dr. John, members of Man for Man, Bonnie Bramlett, Jim Keltner, Max, I don't Who's know him. Max Buskell? I don't know, but he was somebody to somebody. somebody important. I think he, they didn't sleep together. Well, Van Dyke Parks, Albert Lee, Don Nix, and others from Universal Records overseas. This is really good. They do a lot of old stuff, a lot of, uh, it's newly recorded stuff. But they go back and do some of the old Chuck Berry things. Uh, everybody gets to pick a song. There's some great George Harrison songs that people are doing on here. Uh, Don Preston, guitar player and singer, he has two cuts to himself. Bonnie bramlett has got two cuts. Thanks to the customer who turned me on to this, we ordered it through our people. We can still get him. And, and he does the artwork. And he does the artwork. Which he did for several people. Well, he did Revolver. It's called A Sideman's Journey, Klaus Vorman and Friends. Decent CD, really. I enjoyed it. I was singing along. Well, I was trying to. Okay, now it's time for. Well, Tom's already been in the video. All right. Anything else you want to add? You still have another hour to go. Uh, Confunction was here Saturday, and uh, Michael Cooper is one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet in the music business. He's not jaded. Uh, he's got he's got his own CDs. He's got Confunction. He's got a new CD coming out. Have it they, here. they played at the beach Saturday night, and of course, they rock or they funk. They funked it up. I guess that's the way of saying. It. Uh, I saw him on YouTube also. That's a tight band. Yeah. It's a good band. Uh, our assistant assistant to the assistant manager was there, and he was also the chauffeur. Good job, Sean. I'm done. You done anything else? All right, uh, that's it. We got uh, new music coming in every week, uh, new vinyl. We got the old vinyl in last week. Uh, we've got the uh, John Lennon reissues around the corner. And there was something else, another big reissue. Apple the Apple, reissues. The about Apple reissues. As soon as we get more information, we'll put that out. Uh, I think it might be in the newsletter this week. I think you're right. And uh, remember, Paul Chagru. Hunter Hughes, listen on the radio, Jack Frieden, Vocal Sound of Jazz, Jay Sennett. And if you want to see a good movie, go to the... Narrow. Oh, okay. And no, it, the, it's actually pretty the, big. It's not one of those little theaters where you got 13 of them in a, in a half block. This is a, an actual real theater. And Tom makes the best the butter products. popcorn. The best butter so. popcorn in town. All Thanks right. Safe. And go to the Jewish Mother before they leave us uh, for their next uh, gig. And uh, the Narrow... Uh, the Norva for live music and go out every chance you can and see live music. All right, All right. we got customers. We That's go it. Work. Thanks. We'll talk to you next week. Have a good week.